Salut and welcome to Le Journal de Roland Garros. It's the ninth day of competition here and whilst the tournament is currently on hold, we thought we'd come down here to the RG Lab to test out what's new in tennis. You can play virtual tennis in space or even tennis against a robot, which I'll probably give a try a bit later. We get today's show started with an interview with Javier Frana. He won the mixed doubles in 1996 with his compatriot Patricia Tarabini. He spoke to us about his new role as a consultant for ESPN International. What's it like to come here now as a commentator and to commentate matches on the very court that you won on? It's an, uh, an advantage because you know a lot of things uh, from behind the tournament, behind the scene, and, and you have the feeling of uh, being in a, in, a, in a final or being in a Grand Slam. So that's, that's part of my job, trying to, to, to tell the people what the players might be in through or what is in his mind. And, yeah. Well, that's our challenge. These days, uh, players come with their entourage, their physiotherapists, their coaches and such like. How have things changed from when you played here? I think that helps uh, to see better tennis, yeah. to see them uh, for longer time, so they last longer, which is a great thing. Uh, and they have the chance to do it, so if, uh, if if we wouldn't have that, uh, that uh, possibility, it wouldn't be good. But now it's, I think it's helped them. Competition is very hard. So your body, it's uh, your uh, Formula One car. Yeah. So you have to take care of that. And uh, it's, it's, it's interesting because everybody trying to take their best from their own. So who would you like to see lift the trophy here at Roland Garros? Well, there's a lot of expectation about Nole. Yeah. Uh, I think things are going very well for him. He need to manage the the pressure. Yeah. That, uh, but normally, what I'm I'm not I'm not uh, focusing in one just to see what's going on because otherwise I wouldn't be neutral in my in my work. So I'm I'm exercising myself not to get into uh, any favor. But I mean, of course, he's, if he wants, uh, that that would be great for for him and for tennis. Yesterday, the American player Shelby Rogers, currently ranked 108, beat the two times Wimbledon champion Petra Kvitova for her place in the quarterfinals. The last Frenchman standing, Richard Gasquet, made his way to the final eight by beating Japan's number one player, Kei Nishikori. And the 2015 Roland Garros champion Stan Wawrinka found a rather original way to pass time whilst his opponent was being seen to by his physio. Allô Un peu timide. Oui Oh non Allô Non oui. Non T'es timide Oui That's the virtual tennis I was telling you about. I might give it a try a bit later. The young French player, Alize Lim, came by the studio to answer some quick fire questions in Fast and Zap. Chadrier. Twitter. Reading. Plane. Federer. 
Paris. Tony Parker. Summer. Clay. Rihanna. Single. <rire> Roland Garros is a huge international competition, and so it's no surprise that it attracts media from all around the world. We caught up with Florent, a French journalist who works for a Japanese TV company. I think he's one of the three biggest sports stars in Japan. His US Open final was two years ago now, it's all happened very fast. He's made a great impression in the media, aside from the quarterfinal reaches. He makes the front page of the Japanese dailies, he's in the news on major television channels in Japan, and here, as you've seen, he brings a crowd of reporters with him from the various correspondent offices in England, Germany. He really is a phenomenon. People don't really know the name Roland Garros yet in Japan. They have sometimes heard of Wimbledon though. If he wins at Roland Garros next week, then you can be sure that everyone will know all about Roland Garros and the clay courts and you can count on there being not 100 but 200 journalists here next year. RG story today, one fan recalls the time he saw three times Roland Garros champion Gustavo Curtin play here. My best memory as a spectator at Roland Garros was seeing Gustavo Curtin. He really changed tennis, well, clay tennis in any case. There was a before Guga and an after Guga. Thanks to him, French people became passionate about tennis and the French Open tournament. So I think Guga should go down in tennis history. Seeing him that day, two meters away from me, it was like a dream come true. I cried when he won in 97. I remember as if it was yesterday. He was wearing blue and yellow. Then he did it again in 2000 and 2001. He really put his heart into it. Nobody will ever forget it. For me, he's the player. He helped make tennis what it is today. Le journal de Roland Garros is over for today, but stay updated on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat accounts of Roland Garros. And of course, join the conversation with the hashtag RG16. We'll be back with even more tomorrow. Au revoir and à demain.